Welcome back, everybody. A newly minted local nonprofit is inviting you to watch the Packers game with them this Sunday to help raise money for their efforts in helping local heroes. Houses of Honor will hold its salute to service event this Sunday at Stadium View in Ashwaubenon. Veterans support organizations will also be on hand. This is the group's largest fundraiser of the year as it expands its large umbrella to help what it calls community heroes. And we welcome in Kathy Kolbeck. She is the founder of Houses of Honor, which is now in its eighth year. And this will be the sixth year that you have this event coming up on Sunday. Let's go back to that first one, which looked a whole lot different. Yes. Right? The tailgate sure party did. at Lambeau Field. At that time, did you think you'd be ever hosting a number six? And, and to see how far it's come from that first one to what you hope it will be on Sunday. Well, we obviously had the dream, right, right. of it, um, but didn't really know what it was going to look like. You know, at that time, we were just focusing on raising some funds for veterans, and I was out on the street hustling those <laughs> those tickets to sell that Jordy Nelson helmet, and it just was such an awesome event. And we thought, well, we we planned that in two weeks. We thought, what if we actually plan it? You right, know, what right. what can we do? And every year, it just kind of you know became a little bit more successful and more money that we were able to give back. So it's. It's just grown so much. It's and awesome. a lot of a lot of growth here in, in the last year for you folks. So let's let's get yes. people caught up to date. Now you you have achieved your nonprofit status, 5013C. Yes. What does that allow you to do that your organization was not allowed to do before? Well, we can actually raise funds ourselves. Okay. So last year we were raising funds for the two organizations that the proceeds were going to. Sure. This year we're raising funds for Houses of Honor, but Houses of Honor is going to be donating those funds from the event okay. to two nonprofit veteran organizations that are going to be announced at the event. Okay, so, so super stay exciting. Tuned for yeah, Sunday. stay yeah. tuned. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. So, so that's the first thing. And then last year, you, we visited with you on this program in advance of this event. And at that time, you had yes. 45 community partners, I believe, somewhere around there. Yes. You are over 50, which means there are other businesses that are joining your cause. Yes. How has that momentum developed? Is it word of mouth? Is it your success stories? Is it people wanting to be part of the things that you're doing? A little bit of all, all of those. Yeah. So we give back to all community heroes. So that's police officers, firefighters, teachers, medical profession, professionals, and our veterans, our military, right? So the Salute to Service is our biggest event that we have. And that's been getting us a lot of exposure, sure. you know, so that's really been helping. But um, all throughout the year now, we're going to be able to do little fundraisers for all of those different professions, right? So I think the people that are in our group right now, they have such passion for giving back to community heroes. That has really been the key, you guys. It's they're, the group of people that I have helping and <laughs> part of this organization. They're just amazing. So thank you to all of you guys for helping. Um, we wouldn't be at this point without the support that we've had. And there's a lot of people out there that are very passionate about giving back. And we found some pretty awesome people, and it's helped us grow this this organization to to where it is today. All right. And for those folks who may not be familiar with it, we see houses of honor, and we think homes and getting these folks into homes but it, there's so much pardon the pun there's so much more to your organization under that roof explain to yes. people if you can what what are all the services that are available out so there? we try to be as diverse as possible with that obviously it started out with just a few um professionals that were mm -hmm. in the housing industry title mortgage real estate that kind of thing but we've grown it to because we want to be able to have veterans community heroes go to our website for any kind of service they need and we're going to set them up with a reputable professional that they can trust that they're going to save some money. Yeah. They're going to give them a discount. And who doesn't need to save some money <laughs> yeah. these days, yeah, right? Absolutely. So um, we have anywhere from massage and rake aid to we have an awesome guy, Chef Jeremy, that does <laughs> cheesecakes. I mean, we're going, we're trying to get people in every single profession that want to give back to these community heroes. So insurance and home inspections and all those different types of things, cleaning services, sure. you know. So go to our website, you guys, it's housesofhonor.com. Check it out. If you don't see a profession on that list on the website, put in an inquiry and we will make sure to get you set up with someone that can help you save some money. And who knows, uh, within another week or two weeks, you might have more business partners that offer different services because as we mentioned, that that's growing. Yes. We've, we've talked on this program a lot and, and specifically with veterans, but I think it does spill into these other hero uh, occupations that you're talking about. This mental health component tied 
to having a home. Mm -hmm. I know you probably don't have all the statistics, but anecdotally, what has it meant for folks that you've helped to be able to get them into a home or help with the home they currently have so they can keep it? So owning a home is so much more than just um, having a place to live. You, it doesn't matter what background you come from, you can build generational wealth when you own a home. Mm -hmm. And that's what my company that I work for, Movement Mortgage, that's what their, their goal is. They want to help people get into homes so they can build that generational wealth no matter what background you come from. So it's really important um, to help individuals make sure that they can get into these homes by providing down payment assistance programs, by providing um, grants and things like that. Um, but when they're in that home, then they can come to us and the Houses of Honor program and we can help them even further after their mortgage sure. that I can help them with, after their real estate agent, that kind of thing to get them in the house. We want to make sure that they can maintain that sure. house. So our program is about housing, about lifestyle, and about maintenance. So we have all different, different professions that are in those categories that we can help you with. All right. And lastly, for folks out there watching, they want to come in Sunday. Do they have to reserve a spot? Can they show up at the door? Some of those particulars if people want to be involved in this so, fun event Sunday. Yes, it's going to be awesome and the Packers <laughs> are doing so good. So come and watch the Packer game, you guys, but please register. We'll get, make sure you have the link, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure you register. Yeah. Yes, because the first 300 registered attendees are going to get a cool swag bag. So that's really cool. Nice. But we want to make sure that we have enough, you know, we know how many people are coming so we can make sure we have enough pizza for you guys, enough salad, enough breadsticks, all that good stuff for lunch that we're going to be serving. We want to make sure that we're prepared for you. So please register. There is no cost to any military members and we're just asking for a $10 donation from any non-military. Terrific. It's coming up on Sunday. Kathy, thanks so much for what you do. Thank you so much for having us here. We're super excited.